Welcome to this brain teaser. So there are two towns, one we're gonna call Mordor and one we're gonna call Hogsmeade. We wanna build a pier on the shore between the two towns, but the stingy city council wants to use as little material as possible. So how do we minimize the path from Mordor to the pier and on to Hogsmeade? So it's gonna be like somewhere along here and you want the shortest path that goes from Hogsmeade to the pier to Mortar. Where does Hang on. The... Okay, so the, the shortest total path. Shortest total path. So you're trying to minimize the, the complete distance. Exactly. <laughs> you want it as close to a, um, a straight diagonal between the two towns as you can make it. It's funny, like, some people answer questions like this intuitively, whereas I like see the opportunity to set up some equations here, so. <laughs> I would put together an equation to, to and then minimize the, the equation. I just feel like I need to differentiate this expression here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm stumped. I feel like just Odin in the center. Last step of my solution here is X equals AC on A plus B. You're welcome. I'm gonna just offset it a bit to Hogsmeade mm -hmm. because it's further inland. You I actually did, have like did, a really nice solution here. I, I didn't know that I had the solution. There's actually a pretty simple solution to this problem that involves a bit of geometry, but not much more than that. I wonder if there's like a, a really nice, like beautiful, elegant solution. I feel like triangles could be involved here. Imagine I took mortar and reflected it across the shoreline. I'm gonna fold the paper over at the shoreline and mark it so it goes through the paper so that this distance from Mordor to the shoreline and then this distance from the shoreline to reflected Mordor are the same distance. Now, if we wanna find the minimum distance distance between Hogsmeade and reflected Mordor, well that's easy. The shortest path between two points is a straight line. And now we have a potential location for a pier. But will this location minimize the distance from Hogsmeade to the pier to Mordor? Well, we can show that the straight line distance is actually the same distance because this side of the triangle is shared and these two distances are the same. Therefore, by similar triangles, this distance must be the same as this one. So this location is looking promising. And now we can see that by any other location of the pier, like over here, that would make the Hogsmeade reflected Mordor distance longer. And we can show again that it's the same distance as Hogsmeade pier Mordor, which means that any other location of the pier would make the path longer. Therefore, this must be it. This is the location of the pier. So that is it. That's the solution to our problem. This is where our pier goes. I love this problem because it's so elegant. All you need is a little bit of geometry. Now you could solve it using more advanced geometry or even calculus by writing the two distances as a function of each other and minimizing that. Uh, a, B, and C. Then the best place to put the pier is at a location where X is equal to A times C, which is the distance to there, mm. divided by A plus B. You're welcome. But this is just so much more elegant. So um, if we've got Mordor here and Hogsmeade there, what I'm gonna do is reflect Hogsmeade. Oh, no. <laughs> Reflections, huh? Should have expected this from a girl who did a video about mirrors. It's also solving a problem with a different problem. We were looking for one distance at the beginning, but we found a different distance that happened to be the same distance and by similar triangles and using these really simple arguments, we solved the first problem. How do you like them apples? <laughs> this is getting weird. <laughs> but seriously, math is an essential tool for physics. Algebra brought us constants, and geometry brought us a way to draw our world with numbers. And calculus is the only branch of math that has ever changed the way that I think. But that's enough mental meandering. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and you subscribe for more brain teasers and for more physics. And if you have any interesting math or physics or science brain teasers, leave them in the comments. And happy physicsing. On the shoreline. You would, so you solved it. I solved the problem. Dude, that's I awesome. I can't believe this actually worked. To, to be honest though, I had Diana's assistance when I was doing some differentiation because <laughs> the chain rule is a long time in my past, but it came back to me tonight, so. I may not be able to resist putting that in the video. <laughs> that is okay.
This was a team effort. I mean, can I use props for this easier way? Yeah, props. Okay. Yeah. Sure. So like, I would take a string. Yeah. And I would put put a pin here, put the string there, and then I'd like wrap the string around this so that I could pull on this side. I would anchor the string at different points on here and see where I get the most coming out that side. If I could use props, I would do it like that.